This is a wonderful surprise. How are you doing, Pierre? I'm excellent. How about you? I'm doing great. Come on in. I, I'm sorry to bother you this way. I, I know how busy you are. Oh, nonsense. I've been trying to get you to visit here for a long time. Has anyone shown you around? No, 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 nobody's seen me. Good, I'll give you the grand tour. Come on. Well, I would like that very much, uh, but not right now. Rich, uh, the reason I'm here today is because I got a letter in the mail and it concerns you. Dear Mr. Jordan, this letter concerns an incident that happened outside of your restaurant on the evening of November 27th. One of your patrons was attacked that evening. Yeah, viciously attacked and beaten. There's no return address. I regret to say that I'm the party responsible. My wife had been having an affair. I thought the man I saw in the parking lot that night was the man she'd been seeing. I completely lost my mind with rage and anger. It was later I learned that the man I attacked was not my wife's lover, but Mr. Ridge Forrester. I'm deeply sorry about this. I know I caused Mr. Forrester and his family a lot of suffering. I feel horrible about it, but knowing that Mr. Forrester is fully recovered, who the hell is this guy? I have no idea. He didn't even sign his name. Do you remember who was in the restaurant that evening? Well, I checked the reservation book, all the regulars, and uh, you, of course, and Dr. Hayes. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on this guy. Well, if you want me to, I can take this letter to the authorities. No, there's not much point in that unless they have a lead. You know, it's strange, Pierre. I thought I knew who did this. In fact, I was almost positive who did it. But I was wrong. Dr. Hayes. It's been a long day for you. Tell me about it. How many more patients? Why do you want to know? I'd like an appointment. Ah, my favorite neurotic. Uh, let's see. I do have about an hour. Mm, I'll need more time than that. How much more time do you need? Oh, as much time as it takes to have dinner at Pierre's. Brooke isn't available? Doc. Just answer the question. Look, I'm just simply asking you out to dinner here. Will you please respond to my invitation without building a lot of walls? Maybe another time. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why another time? Why not tonight? It, it just doesn't feel right. In other words, you've built a wall you can't climb over? I guess you could say that. Are you punishing me here, or is this really what you want to do? I'm asking you to be honest now. What time? Seven o'clock. I'll meet you there. Hi. Hi. What's that? A letter. It was sent to Pierre. From whom? The man who attacked me out in front of his restaurant. Blake? Turns out it wasn't Blake. Then who was it? I don't know. He didn't leave his signature on this. How do you know it wasn't Blake? Well, it's not his style. Blake wouldn't uh, stoop to write in a letter like this. You were so certain. And so wrong. You know, I almost wish it was Blake. At least I knew who to be angry with. So, what are you doing here? I thought you went home. Then happy to see me, huh? I'm sorry. This letter's got me a little crazy. I'd just like to give this guy a little taste of what he gave me. So would I. Now there's a dangerous thought. Well, I think I know what might cheer you up. Let's hear it. I want you to come over tonight.
You want me to come over? Yes. I thought you were spending the night with little Eric. I am. You told me he wanted his mother. Well, it wouldn't hurt him to have his godfather, too. We're not talking all evening, of course. Just popcorn and root beer. And a video. Bambi. Ooh, my favorite. So, is it a date? Logan, I, uh, I made other plans. You did? You told me you wanted to spend the evening alone with little Eric. But I want to be with you, too. I want that as well. But somehow, popcorn and root beer and Bambi aren't exactly part of the picture I had in mind. So what do you have in mind? Don't get me started. Why not? Getting started could be fun. But stopping isn't. So tell me, where are you going tonight that could be more exciting? going tonight that could be more pleasurable than this? Nowhere is more pleasurable than this. So why don't you cancel and come over to my place? Because this isn't going to happen at your place. You know, all you think about is sex. Excuse me while I strangle you? Whose idea was this in the first place? You and I really need to be alone some night soon. You won't hear an argument out of me. So when and where? Well, you want me to set something up? Yes. All right, I will. All right. So let me know tomorrow.